name of the game. You have to play games in order to survive. That's the name of the game. You have to play games in order to survive. But without further ado, let's jump right in it. This is Left Side of the Brain. Go ahead, like, share, and subscribe. About to give you all this free work, this free information, okay? Let me go up on my steps. I feel good today. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's a lot of mosquitoes up here, but what's that? I don't know. I think I'm going to other steps. They look a little cleaner. But yeah, man, I was thinking, right? I was like, you know how they be like, honesty is the best policy? That's a bullshit lie, man. That's a lie. Honesty is not the best policy. Honesty will get you honestly left behind in this world. I'm telling you. Honesty will get you left behind. Now, if you were to say honesty is the best policy to yourself, that's a different thing. That's a totally different thing than telling me that honesty is the best policy. Because it's not. Yeah, let me sit right here. I know y'all like, yeah, left side is back. This reminds me of last year around this time. Yeah, I'm back, I'm back. You know, for somebody to tell you that honesty is the best policy, they telling you a lie. See, when you're dealing with HPBs, they living a lie. Anybody who lives a lie does not respect the truth anyway so you wasting your energy trying to be honest and truthful with a person who doesn't even respect it these people don't even respect it and that's why they the main ones telling you that honesty is the best policy because they know they lying number one and they know that when you honest in this world, that means you letting your guards down. I repeat, never heard nobody say this, right? When you honest in this world, you are letting your guards down. Because when you are honest, you're revealing yourself. It's almost like, and remember, we in spiritual battle, right? Now, imagine a soldier being honest in battle what would that mean well if you got camouflage covering your body to be honest would be to not wear camouflage reveal yourself don't camouflage yourself and if you do what would happen if you didn't camouflage yourself what would happen that's right you would be left wide open for a kill shot that's right see when i do these videos i'm not myself i'm left side of the brain left side of the brain that's a different person than my everyday government name see left side of the brain i'm like 007 that's the real the real me that you're getting that the rest of the world, they don't see. Because we know that as Jaguars, we have to move under the radar, all right? So with that being said, <coughs> we never reveal our true self to these imbeciles out here, right? Because they couldn't handle the truth, simple as that. You can't handle the truth. They couldn't handle it. They'll send you to the nearest psych ward. You won't get the job. You won't get the girl. <laughs> you
You won't get the promotion. You won't get any of that stuff being a true revealed Jaguar. But none of that matters because you know why? The true creator who we are connected to, we get bonus points by following and living this Jaguar lifestyle. See, God, he already knows I have to play a game just to get by. That's why when I do certain things, it's not a lie. It's not dishonesty. It's me surviving in a world and doing what I have to do to survive. You see? And let's believe none of these people are being honest with you. Right? I like to use uh, relationships as an example a lot of times. Because during relationships like with males and females, that's like that's like the purest form of chess chess interaction. What I mean by chess, manipulation and strategizing. Because the female, she making certain moves to strategize to get what she is trying to get out of the man. And the man, he's strategizing and trying to get what he's trying to get out of the female. But during those interactions, the man is only telling the woman just enough to get what he's looking for. The female, needless to say, she got what you what you're looking for, right? You want sex, right? So she's going to use that to manipulate you. But at the same time, her holding back that sex, that's a part of her strategizing. She's probably a loose woman. She probably sleep around with a lot of men, but they can turn it on and off depending upon the situation. So I had to use that example to let you know that it's never no honesty, even when it comes down to the male and female interaction that brings us into this world. It's not honest. It wasn't based on honesty. I guarantee you half of the men who ended up sleeping with a woman, they had to lie. Somewhere during that interaction, you had to lie to that woman. You had to. Because even though they beg for honesty, females will say, I want a man that's so, that's honest and straightforward. If you be honest with her, guess what? You're gonna say something that turns her off. And it's the same way with the human prison ball realm. They, 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 they expect you to tell the truth, but as soon as you show who you really are, they're gonna ostracize you. So you gotta lie. So no people, honesty is not the best policy. Secrecy is the best policy. That's right, secrecy is the best policy. Cause we living in a human prison ball realm that's based upon violence and what? We haven't said it in a while. Violence, V and M, violence and manipulation. And mainly out here in this world, men are the ones that's getting manipulated, not females. The majority of the time, it's men. We are the ones that's getting manipulated. That's right. <clears throat> it's a verse in the Bible It says My people suffer Because of the lack of knowledge That's right A lot of men suffer Because they don't know the ropes They don't know the HPB realm exists And that's a problem with a lot of men I'm happy I woke up to this Many moons ago I woke up to this and that's why every day, y'all, I'm going to be real. I feel like I can die any moment and I, and I will be satisfied. Because I feel like I got what I was supposed to get. I was thinking today as I was, you know, pondering. And the spirit told me, 
I was like, I talked back and forth to the spirit. I was like, spirit, what you want me to talk about? And you know what, you know what the spirit said to me? He said, speak what's on your heart. <clears throat> he said, speak what you've been pondering about. I was like, wow. That's how the spirit communicate. He communicates very simple. He says, speak what's on your heart. And that's exactly what I'm doing. <clears throat> and I would like to say, if I was to die today, I wouldn't be trying to hold on to anything because I already know I got what it is that I needed. You can go back three years ago in our library and you're going to see me speaking the same stuff. I told y'all like three videos ago I was like I don't meditate anymore it's nothing for me to meditate about I've already reached in 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 Hinduism is called uh, Samadhi as that's S-A-M-A-D-H-I look it up if you haven't looked it up Samadhi that's when you get to that point of realization when there's no turning back. <clears throat> and I've reached that point of samadhi. And when you reach that point of samadhi, no, I'm gonna save that for another video because I got another good title, but I'm gonna save that. What I was about to say, I'm gonna save it. But yeah, and I was, and, if, and as I was walking this way, um, I'm sitting in front of some water right now. Y'all can't see it, but it's some water. But, I was, but, I, but as I was walking down here, I was saying, what am I going to speak about? And the Spirit gave me that message. <clears throat> and then I started saying to myself, I was like, man, it's like I'm alive. But at the same time, I'm invisible. It's like I'm walking around in this bubble. Have you all ever felt like that? Like, you feel like the bubble boy You're walking around in this bubble and you can see outside of it but nobody can look on the inside of your bubble that you exist in like you can look into their world you can see inside of their world you can look into their minds but they can't look inside of you and the only thing they can see is that bubble and they can see the reflection of the world around that bubble but they can't see inside of it and that's how I feel on a day to day basis I'm in a bubble and the only thing they see is whatever is outside of that bubble being reflected on the surface of that bubble and that's all I want them to see I don't want them to see the real me it's none of your business if you're not a jaguar that's none of your business. You feel me? <clears throat> they don't need to see the real me. You're not qualified to see the real Jaguars. And that's why I made this channel, y'all. So we can have a gathering place. You know? And like I told myself, I hate to keep saying it. I'm going to do that book, y'all, okay? I know y'all like left side. You've been saying this. Look, y'all. This is a real life like reality channel. It has its ups, it has its downs. When I, when I say downs, I mean, I don't operate like, oh, I gotta do three videos a week, four videos a week. It's not like that with me. I live my life based upon what the spirit tells me. Cause y'all know this is a real channel. This is not no channel where I'm trying to get a lot of subscribers, I'm trying to be famous. It's not like that with this channel. Even though I say subscribe to the channel, you know, I, I have to do that, you know? Because you gotta keep a certain algorithm so the videos will get out. But at the same time, this channel is, is real. This is an underground channel and that's why I've always kept it that way. I could have been, you know, put fancy cameras and all of that, but I was like, nah. People who subscribe to my channel, you like it because it's like this. And if I was to ever change, 
you know, y'all wouldn't like that. You like it like this. The half face, walking around in public. That's just how this channel is, you know? But yeah, that's how I feel on a day to day. Like, I feel like I'm in this bubble. And I'm not gonna let nobody pop that bubble. You ain't gonna take your pen and pop that bubble around me. And, and I'm gonna leave y'all with this advice. When you talking to these HPBs, do not tell them, even if they try to suck you into a real conversation, a real hard conversation. Now, as a man, I'm gonna tell you this. You may get with a woman, and you may feel like, yo, I'm really feeling this woman. And then you'll start opening up your true self to that woman. When you do that, that's your downfall. That's your kryptonite. Remember the story of Samson and Delilah. He told her the secret to his strength, which was his hair. And what did she do? She cut his hair. Now, that's a metaphor. That's a metaphor to what's on the inside. Because your hair, it grows from your scalp. So once Samson told her what was on his inside, his strength, which was connected to his scalp, his inside, his mind, she was able to cut his hair. And he lost his strength by telling her his secrets. Do not, and that goes for if it's a man, one of your best friends, one of your colleagues at work, and you know they're not a, a Jaguar, don't be telling them no intimate stuff about yourself. And especially no female. Because once you do that, you have you have let you have let yourself wide open. Because once you tell her everything, she got you. They got you. They're going to expose you. I feel like an HPB is never They're just a secret agent trying to get you to reveal yourself. Because, because to them, once you reveal yourself, they like, that's a spy. We got to catch him. We got to make it hard for him in this world. We got to ostracize him. That's why you got to walk around in silence around these people. And I'm gonna leave y'all with this. You know, I told myself this today. I said, walking around crowds of people, it's like, it's like walking through a landmine field. Think about it. You gotta be careful what you say. You gotta be careful who you brush into. It's like a landmine field. Walking around people is very dangerous. And crowds of people is dangerous. Especially when you're a Jaguar and you just one out of many, you gotta be very careful about it. I'm telling y'all, because Satan, the enemy, the HPBs, they got they got their their crosshairs trained on us, ready to take us out. So we gotta stay away from crowds as much as possible. I'm telling you, that's how we gotta live as Jaguars. Gotta walk on eggshells. I'm gonna leave y'all with that. Tell me what you think about it in the video, in, in the comment section below. Um, I'm feeling my, I'm feeling it again, y'all. I'm back, I'm back. It's springtime, 2023, the year of consistency. And um, y'all didn't let me know about that UFO live stream. Like when y'all wanna do that, y'all let me know in the comment section below. And um, with that. This is Left Side of the Brain signing out. HPB's down. Jaguar's up. Like, share, and subscribe. And this is Left Side of the Brain signing out.